Hello everyone and welcome to another Autodesk Revit tutorial. In today's Revit tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Lumion to make a walkthrough video. If you need help installing the Revit to Lumion plugin, there's a link in the description box guiding you on how to install it. If the plugin is already installed, you can see this Lumion tab over here. So now we should proceed to the Lumion tab by left clicking it. And as you can see under the Live Sync section over here, there's a play button to start Live Sync. And there's a Live Sync Settings button over here. And if I were to click on the Live Sync Settings button, this pop-up window will emerge. So there are only a few things that you can change in this Live Sync Settings window. You can change the insertion point. You can either make the surface less smooth or more smooth. In this case, I will just set it as normal. And you can either check or uncheck this camera sync on start. In my experience, this option here doesn't do much. So I'll just click on the close button for the Lumion Live Sync settings. And I'll proceed to starting up Live Sync. And this pop up will emerge. So if you want to start Lumion, just click on yes. So it will take some time before Lumion will start up because it needs to connect to its server. So once Lumion has connected to its server, you can finally see the portal frame over here. So this is the camera view right now. If you want to turn around, just right click and drag. If you want to move forward, press W. If you want to move backwards, press S. If you want to move to the left, press A. And if you want to move to the right, press D. I will have a more in-depth tutorial on Lumion in another video. But for now, I'll just be showing you how to do a walkthrough video. So just click on the movie button over here. And click on record. So there are a few things to set before we can begin making this walkthrough video. So as you can see, this is the eye level over here. Right now it's set to 0 0.49 meters. You can type in this box. If you want to key in any value, say 1.7 meters, you can do so. And this button on the left here will automatically set the eye level at 1.6 meters. But for this video, I won't use this setting. I'll use the horizontal eye level so that I can move at pretty much 1.7 meters here so that the height doesn't change. Because if you don't use the horizontal eye level, you say you have a slight angle, and if you press W, it will increase in height. So changing it back to 1.7 meters, and using the horizontal eye level, I've already fixed the camera at 1.7 meters. And on the right over here, you can see the focal length. Right now it is set to 15 millimeters. So this is a ultra wide lens. So in general, I prefer to use something close to 24 millimeters. If you cannot get it exactly to 24 by using this slider here, you can type in a value. I'll key in 24. So you can actually start this walkthrough video just by clicking on the add camera keyframe. So Lumion would have already taken a picture of this portal frame. And if I were to move forward and take another picture, Lumion will fill in the gaps between these two images. And if I move in once more and take another picture, and if I were to save clip and play this clip, Lumion would play a video from those three frames that we've taken. So if you want to edit the video, just click on the Edit Clip button over here. If you want to actually make a turn, all you need to do is just use the right click button and hold down and turn to whatever angle that you want. So I'll turn it to roughly about here and make sure it's horizontal again. Take a picture and move forward slightly and take another picture and save the clip. And now if I were to hit the play button from the beginning, you can see that Lumion will make a turn like this. So that's how you can actually create a walkthrough video using Lumion. It's very, very, very simple. 
it just involves you taking pictures at certain points and turning is very simple you just need to go and rotate the view just by right clicking and dragging so as you can see now that we've already finished our walkthrough video we need to actually render it out so if you want to render it out click on this render movie button over here and you can set the output quality here according to these stars so the first one will just have draft quality in the second one it's good quality with no global illumination and and volume cloud effects the third one will have pretty much everything on and with four times anti-aliasing and everything beyond the third star will just have an increased amount of anti-aliasing in my experience four times anti-aliasing is more than enough and you can set the frames per second you can set it to 25 or 30 or 60 or 200 in this case i'll keep it at 25 frames per second and i'll just quickly render it out in full hd do note that if you were to choose quad hd or ultra hd you probably will need more video memory on your graphics card especially if your drawing is very very complex so click on save once you've already named the file appropriately and once you've already found a place to save your walkthrough video and there we go lumion is rendering out right now and on the right you have the time remaining estimate in the middle you have the number of frames being rendered so we have 446 frames so on the very left we have the time elapsed so now that the rendering is complete i will open the folder that has the video so this is the walkthrough video over here as fully rendered So if it is a bit too slow for you, you can actually increase the FPS so that it will finish faster. So back to Lumion. So that's it for this Lumion tutorial on how to create a walkthrough video using a drawing from Revit. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you do enjoy the content that I make on YouTube, do consider subscribing to my channel. It's free. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.